Hello again, and welcome to another edition of our posts about items in our collection. So today I have an inkwell for you to see. Um, it's a very fancy looking inkwell. Um, it's in the form of the Roman god Neptune. So we have Neptune's head here, which uh, contains uh, the inkwell part. Uh, below his head we have a shell design, which says the pen rest, and the whole thing is supported on four of these sea serpents. Uh, the whole thing is made of brass. So the reason I've chosen this item, it's not just because it looks nice, it's because it teaches us the importance of provenance that comes with an item. So this uh, inkwell has been in our collection since 1995, when the museum first opened. Uh, so uh, important was it to the collection, it was uh, presented in front of Princess Margaret as she signed the visitor book, as she opened the museum. Um, so why else have I chosen it? Well, we were told uh, that it had come from Skerivor Lighthouse. That was the information that came with the object as it was donated. So for many years it sat in our Skerivor display over at the Canard Head site. Now I remember uh, I couldn't have been here very long in the museum when I was showing a keeper, an ex-keeper around the exhibits. And when we got to the Skerivor exhibit, I proudly showed him the inkwell uh, and he kind of looked at my funny and he says, there's no way that came from Skerivor. All right, he says, if that had been at Skerivor, that would have been melted down in the fire in 1954. It wouldn't exist anymore if it was at Skerivor. So I wasn't very pleased with that because, you know, this is our Skerivor inkwell. But I wasn't going to argue, he's a keeper, he'll know more than me. So we just moved on and, and that was the end of it. Uh, as it happens, uh, the keeper was later proven right. Uh, in 2018, we were doing some research for a book about another lighthouse and during that research we found a picture of the inkwell at that said other lighthouse. It turns out this didn't come from Skerivor, it came from the Bell Rock Lighthouse. So this is the picture. Um, the picture basically shows a few items in the library of uh, the Bell Rock Lighthouse and the inkwell is uh, just uh, beside a, a flint lighter there. This picture will be shown at the end of the video. Um, so that basically sealed the, the idea that it was the Bell Rock. You know, you, you can't dispute photographic evidence. Um, and even if you did um, that, uh, the, the very fact that this inkwell would then be missing is a problem because we know where everything else in the picture is. Um, so the chair and the plaque, for example, are in Edinburgh. The flint lighter we spoke about is in Arbroath. So it would be very unusual for the actual inkwell to go missing because Bell Rock items are very much coveted and they didn't go missing. So why it gained the reputation of being from Skerivor, we don't know. We don't yet know the age of the item. We are presuming, well, it is Victorian. There's no doubt about it, really. Um, we have looked at other images, earlier images, uh, in particular a painting by uh, Ballatine in his book. And um, there is something in the window which isn't quite painted. Now, it's possible that it might be the inkwell, but we don't really know. So we know it was at the Bell Rock. We can say as early as um, 1900, which is when this picture was probably taken, 1900 to 1906. Um, and we know it was there as late as 1949. Uh, we know this because it was mentioned in the diary of Randall Phillip, who was a commissioner. And he mentions the inkwell, the flint lighter and the flags, which Linda uh, showed yesterday. So we believe it was probably still in the Bell Rock Lighthouse until 1963 with uh, the the uh, modernization of that lighthouse when everything was taken out including the whole library and we presume it was probably kept in stores for many years and we can only presume that when it was in storage for those 30 years or so before it came to the museum that's when it lost its provenance and perhaps um, word of mouth told the person who gave it to us that it was from Skerivor. So that's what I like about this item it shows that even 25 years on we have still got a lot to learn about the collections we hold here at the Museum of Scottish Lighthouses.